Hello inventors, welcome back. In the last video, we have learned what IoT is, what it is capable of, and we have also learned how it works. As a tech enthusiastic, you must be thinking what technologies are essential in building IoT products and how you can contribute to the field. In this video, let's see five technological pillars of IoT. Five main technologies that are crucial to IoT include embedded engineering, networking, cloud computing, big data, and machine learning. Let's briefly have a look at each one. How is embedded engineering related to IoT? We have covered what embedded engineering is in our first video. You can find the link in the card above and in the video description below. If you haven't seen our first video, you can go ahead and pause this video, watch that video and come back to this one. So how is embedded engineering related to IoT? Let's say you need to control your lights in your home automatically, such that whenever it is sunny outside, the light should be turned off and when the light coming through the window go below a certain threshold, the light should turn on. To make such a system, you need two things. A light sensor to be placed near the window and a controller to turn on or turn off the light. Here, two embedded systems are needed to make this simple application. No matter which IoT application you choose, embedded system will be the basic building blocks. And hence, embedded engineering is the key technology to developing IoT products. We can start by defining what network engineering is first. Network engineering is a subfield of computer engineering that deals with connecting computers together to transfer data among them. In fact, you are using a network engineering product right now to see this video, that is the internet. This video has probably traveled hundreds of kilometers from some distant web server to your device, traveling through various mediums like optical cables, copper cables, cellular and Wi-Fi networks along the way all in matter of milliseconds. How is network engineering related to IoT? In our example of light sensor and the controller, these two devices must be able to talk to each other so that the controller can make the decision whether to turn on the light or to turn off based on the reading from the light sensor. This can be either achieved through wired or wireless network technologies. A simple application like this is usually uses Bluetooth Low Energy, BLE for short, which is less power hungry protocol and can operate for years on a simple AA battery. But then what if the data need to be sent to the cloud so that you can control the lights in your home see from a different country? In this case, we need one more networking protocol to connect to internet. Usually, in such cases, the controller is connected to local area network or LAN through Ethernet or Wi-Fi. After that, this data is usually taken to the server on the internet using fiber optical cables. As you can see, for a simple application like controlling a light with a smartphone app, we need Bluetooth and Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Thus, without networking, we can't get our things on internet. Cloud is another term that is commonly used to refer to the internet. 
Cloud computing means using a computer that is located in some corner of the planet to do your processing task. A famous example of cloud computing is Amazon Web Series, short for AWS. One cool activity you can do on AWS is that you can sign up and set up your own Linux system on one of their servers and play with it. And all you need is a browser. I hope you get the idea what cloud computing means. Is cloud computing related to IoT? Let's take the example of home automation app again, which is the IoT solution that involves controlling all your home devices using your smartphone. In order to access the status of all your appliances remotely, say from your workplace, the data needs to be stored on internet in a database that is constantly updated and synchronized. This is where cloud computing comes in. You can send all the data from your home appliances to the computer on the internet, say to the computer that belongs to the Amazon. Then your smartphone app can easily connect to it and access the necessary information and display it to you. You forgot to turn off the lights. Let's take an example. Just use smartphone app, choose the light and turn it off. What is happening there? This will send the requested action to the database on cloud, which in turns connects to your light country controller on the other end and turns it off all in a single click. The fourth technological pillar of IoT is machine learning. Let's start by defining what is machine learning. Machine learning is a subcategory of computer engineering where algorithms are used to train the machine to learn without the intervention of a programmer. It has several subcategories like machine vision, natural language processing, and pattern recognition. Some of the famous examples we use today include face, and fingerprint recognition software in your smartphones. Voice recognitions like Siri. Who doesn't know Siri these days? Google Assistant and Google Translate. How is machine learning related to IoT? Again, let's take my favorite example of smartphone app. This time, instead of opening it and finding the appliance to turn on, what if we can just do it through voice? <clears throat> yes, I'm talking about Google Home. This is not the only application where machine learning will come in handy for our IoT application. Take any product. There is always a way to make it better using machine learning. Now let's have a look at big data. What is big data? As the name implies, big data is just a huge quantity of related data. This is a new field that has emerged recently in the past decade with an advent of the internet and improvements in data storage technologies. Engineers in this field are called data scientists or data engineer and their job descriptions involve analyzing the huge amount of data and find patterns in them, which can be later used in decision-making processes. How is big data related to IoT? Imagine a world in which everyone uses a wearable tech, something similar to our smartwatches, but with more sensors to monitor your body. All the data this tech collects is sent to the cloud and this is connected to your health records. A machine learning algorithm can be later implemented on this data that can be used to connect particular symptoms to particular diseases or health conditions. Doctor can then use this IoT solution to diagnose your problem much sooner and much more accurately than it is possible using the present method. This way, even before a disease starts to show, its symptoms can get treated for it 
and avoid getting through pain of intense therapies. Thus, our IoT solution, the wearable tech, here acts as a producer of a valuable data in large quantity, in other words, big data. Hence, big data can be used to train our robots so that they can help us humans in more efficient manner. If you're interested to learn more about these fields, you can head over to the link in the description where we have provided you the recommended courses and books which we think are really good. You can find a separate recommendations for both beginners and intermediates free and paid so that you can find the one which works best for you. If you would like to learn more about Embedded System, visit our website embeddedinventor.com. If you have any questions and suggestions for the future video, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I will see you inventors in the next one.